And welcome back to the hot lap. We are talking Audi F1. Who is going to be the Audi F1 driver? It's seemingly changing. Once it's going to be Bottas. Could it have been Carlos Sainz? Well, that's definitely a no. Mick Schumacher. Color Pinto. There's a list of people. Let's talk about who potentially the most likely of that list it will be. So this is inspired by a planetf1.com article. That's too fair. A lot of these uh, videos are. But they're talking about now Mick Schumacher being discussed as what is a potential Audi F1 driver for the 2025 season. Season? Season. Because supposedly, uh, unlike, well, Mick Schumacher, unlike Valtteri Bottas, is not causing problems for the team. Pray tell, what do you mean? But before we get into that, we've got Gabriello Bortello, Bortoletto, sorry, and Williams super sub, Franco Colapinto. Both have reportedly been on Audi's F1 list. But let's quickly talk about Mick Schumacher. So with the exception of Red Bull's affiliated teams, Audi will take over the existing Sauer Alpha in F1 2026 regulation change, changes, remaining the only team yet to finalise their 2025 driver lineup. Now, I say the Red Bull-affiliated teams because Lawson has been only confirmed for this year. Yeah, but we've already spoken about that, haven't we? So having announced, as we know, all the way now, back in April, it seems so long ago, the signing of a certain very fast but doesn't have a podium driver, Nico Hulkenberg, in April. Now, Audi missed out on what was their top target, Spain's own Carlos Sainz, multiple Grand Prix winner. He opted to join Williams instead. And that pretty much forced the Swiss team, soon to be Audi F1 team, explore more options as we know they're going to be stake f1 next year so there have been multiple reports over the recent weeks that have indicated a 10-time grand prix winner yes the man that has the mullet valtteri bottas 35 years old was was close or maybe still is close to signing that contract extension having originally joined sauber from the mercedes at the start of 2022 however bottas has been consistent in his stance i've only been he's to fair, he's only been interested in what was a multi-year deal. And that seems to be currently a massive sticking point. A report by a Swiss-German publication Blick has confirmed that Bottas is currently... Who is currently? Bottom. Bottas is bottom. Lovely piece of alliteration. But of the 2025 standings, zero, zero points, nil point to his name. It's causing problems for Audi because, as we just mentioned, he is pushing for a better contract with more money. Now, Audi F1, as we know, they've been heavily linked with a move, for example, for Bortoletto. If they opt for an all-new driver lineup for F1 2025 with a 19-year-old currently leading Formula 2. But it's been suggested that recently Bortoletto could even be signed as the reserve driver for next season before a step up to the works Audi team in 2026. However, a move for Bortoletto, the McLaren backed starter, who is he's currently he's managed by current Aston Martin and two time world champion Fernando Alonso, is apparently now amongst the rumour mills considered unlikely. The same could be said of Williams's, well, super sub Colla Pinto, who's impressed since replacing Logan Sargent at Williams ahead of the Italian Grand Prix, scoring his first F1 points with that eighth place finish in Baku last month. An absolutely fantastic drive. Now, Val, the Williams team principal, he has revealed that in the aftermath of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, he's willing to help his super sub secure a seat with Audi F1 next season, having already committed to partnering, obviously, Sainz and Alex Albon. And to be fair, James Wiles has, has come out recently and said he believes next year he has the best driver lineup. But Val's conceded that he's in the... The interest in Colapinto, somewhat sadly, especially if you're a Colapinto fan, is fairly small. Now, Red Bull have been linked with a move for the 21-year-old uh, Argentinian, um, though Howard Marco recently conceded that Colapinto is a, under a long-term Williams contract. Sad. But the last time they took somebody else's driver was Nick De Vries, and that didn't end well, even, even though, did he get a fair crack at the whip? Who knows? But these developments... And all this going on may well open the door for a Schumacher, that's Michael Schumacher's son, Mick Schumacher, to make a surprise return for 2025. He's been pushing for a return to F1 since being dropped by Haas 
at the end of 2022. Now, the 25-year-old is currently combining his duties both at Mercedes as he, as a reserve driver and at the Alpine Racing in the World Endurance Championship. It was previously reported that Audi were reluctant to field two German drivers for 2025, having already committed to signing Nico Hülkenberg. However, a lack of attractive options may well force him to reconsider Schumacher. And pray tell, he's got a decent name. And and that will be a severe test against Hülkenberg. If he can match Nico Hülkenberg, which I think would be the minimum people would want if he was going to, to remain with the team, he has a chance of remaining in Formula 1. He recently received the backing of Marco, uh, did Schumacher, who claimed it would be incomprehensible if Audi F1 were to overlook him in favour of Bottas. Harsh, but fair enough. And admitted it's now or never for the Germans' hope for an F1 return. Now, according to Germany's RTL, Marco said, I think the Audi car will certainly not be a winning car next year. That means there will be no pressure on either Audi or Mick Schumacher. He went on to say, it would be a good comparison there. We just said it as well with Nico Hülkenberg. And if his performance isn't right, you can always make a change for 2026. I don't know exactly, but if the situation is really that Valtteri Bottas gets the chance, then the whole thing is even more incomprehensible to me. I think if Schumacher doesn't get the seat, then the Formula 1 story is over for him. I kind of like, to be fair... I kind of agree. And that's what's quite interesting. Mick Sch is it Mick Schumacher versus Valtteri Bottas? Do you go for a relative of known or someone that has won 10 Grand Prix? But the, the, the big if and the big but seems to be Bottas wants more money or a multi-year deal. Having said that, as we know with Paris, you can put performance clauses in there. But the issue is your car's so bad. What kind of performance clauses would you put in that Audi F1, well, the stake F1 team for 2025? Then obviously Audi in 2026. We will no doubt keep you up to date on what very much is going on there. If you liked what you saw or you liked what you see, give us a subscribe. Comment below, let us know who you think will be Audi's new F1 driver. It seems to be the favourites, Bottas, Mick, Colapinto. If there's anyone else, well, to be fair, this season's gone absolutely so crazy, I wouldn't really be surprised. But until then, stay safe. Thank you very much and speak to you soon.